Earlier this year, Bunny XO, host of the Dumb Blonde podcast, and wife of country star Jelly Roll, faced significant backlash after expressing interest in interviewing Wade Wilson, a convicted murderer who gained notoriety on TikTok. The criticism stemmed from how she presented the topic, with fans accusing her of sounding too enthusiastic about the case and lacking empathy for the victim's families. Now, in a new podcast episode, Bunny reflects on the controversy, the lessons she learned, and reveals details from two phone calls she had with Wilson himself. In June 2024, Bunny publicly expressed her interest in having Wilson on her podcast. However, her upbeat tone and fascination with the case were met with disapproval from fans. Some felt that her approach seemed to glorify Wilson, a man responsible for brutal crimes, instead of focusing on the victims. Bunny now admits she understands why her initial comments were seen as insensitive, stating, was it wrong for me to say I wanted him on the podcast? Not really. But how I said it, without considering the victims, was not okay. She emphasizes that she has since taken steps to address the concerns, saying, I heard you, I listened, and I've been working hard to learn and correct how I handle these kinds of situations. The episode, titled Wade Wilson, No Redemption, features actual recordings of the phone conversations Bunny had with Wilson. Their exchange began when Wilson requested financial compensation to participate in a potential documentary about his life. Bunny's team refused, citing Son of Sam laws that prevent criminals from profiting off their crimes. In response, Wilson suggested a secret payment, saying, even monsters get paid. Bunny dismissed the idea and was shocked when, shortly after, Wilson began giving her phone number to various women, claiming to be romantically involved with him. Things took a dark turn during their second phone call. Wilson, seemingly agitated, hinted at knowing people who could pose a threat to Bunny and her family. He said, I know some people, maybe you know some people, and everybody's got a past. While the implications were unsettling, Bunny remained calm and refused to be intimidated, stating, You're not going to threaten me with people from the inside or whatever is going on. Despite the tense interactions, Bunny assured Wilson that she harbored no ill feelings toward him, though he replied indifferently. Although Wilson ultimately declined to be featured in a documentary, Bunny has found a more positive connection to the case. She has since developed a relationship with the sons of one of Wilson's victims, Diane Ruiz, and plans to feature them in a future episode to help raise awareness for their healing journey. This experience was a turning point for Bunny XO, as she learned to balance her curiosity about true crime with the responsibility of honoring the victims and their families. Her story underscores the importance of sensitivity when handling such delicate topics. Stay subscribed for more videos.